Hey guys, welcome back again. Dave Dimension, welcome back again for another video. Welcome back to the channel where chaos and insanity will always reign supreme. So what are we doing today? Well, we got a little unbox, as always, but a little bit different. We're not doing any collectibles or figures today. We're actually doing hardware, computer hardware, that is. Um, so as you can see, I have my regular RGB keyboard right here. Um, I've never been the biggest fan of this keyboard, to be perfectly honest. I got this on Amazon because I was in a situation where my other keyboard was completely fried. I needed a new one. This was a aluminum keyboard. As you can see, aluminum backing here. And then we have plastic shell. Uh, very cheap, very, not very high quality keys, but I was in a pinch. It's what I needed, and it got me through at that time. Um, now, for the most part, I do mostly uh, for this computer that you guys that I record my videos on. I do a lot of internet browsing, inter online shopping, you know, streaming videos. Um, I don't do, you know, I do a little bit of gaming here and there when I have the time. Um, the latency, the slowdown, the slow response time of this keyboard is terrible. I mean, it's just complete garbage. I've never timed it, so I can't give you specific numbers, but it's terrible. The keys are very plastic and clunky. Terrible response time. I've even had where the keys broke off at times. Okay? Honestly, when you're shopping for keyboards, even if you type in a Google search budget keyboards, you can get a long list. You can read all the reviews you want. 100 people might use the keyboard 100 different ways, guys. Your use and your frequency of usage is going to vary from person to person, obviously. So, and that's another problem I've had a lot of times with um, online shopping. And even if you're trying to do research, like, you know, you type in budget speakers. Which I've done a video on some speakers I purchased. They were good at the time, but I found that other times they weren't the greatest. A buyer beware you know it's one of those situations what you type what your idea of budget is going to vary from the next five or ten people guys it all depends on what your financial uh, means are and what you can afford to do some people i know we're talking about keyboards today but just using my experience with my speaker shopping i was looking for a budget uh, speakers uh, for my computer. I was hoping to get something, you know, maybe around 50 or so dollars. Well, fortunately, when you type in budget, a lot of times you're getting 200 $150 speakers, and that may be the bottom of the barrel if you want something quality, something that's going to last, and something that has multiple uses. Now, I've noticed my, my, my Logitech speakers I have, um, I purchased them, I tried uh, listening to music, and music sounded great. But here's the twist of it all. If I'm playing, uh, if I'm watching something on Netflix or Hulu or, you know, Voodoo, whatever the case may be, um, the sound quality is very low, but when I'm listening to music, it's perfectly fine. You know, there's just subtle differences like that, and, you know, that might be explained by the driver and you know, someone could say, well, the drivers on, on for those speakers on your computer could be the issue. That, you know, that could be a possibility, but you know what? Sound on video games, for the most part, tend to be okay. But sometimes they shift depending on the game I'm playing, too. So, that's just weird and crazy. Again, you know, if you do a search for a budget, a keyboard, you're going to get different, uh, different makes and models. Now... What I did was, I was at Best, uh, not Best Buy, but GameStop, and I wound up buying a blue, a blue Snowball Ice microphone for my videos to help me do more videos and to help capture my voice. I was using an old toner mic. While I was there, uh, I was talking to the gentleman, the salesperson there, and he actually recommended for budget keyboard, he recommended this, HyperX Ally Core RGB. So he recommended this one. I said, what the hell? I mean, this was $49.99. Not terribly, you know, not, not expensive. I mean, what I would consider expensive would be, you know, 100 120 or, or up. But of course, if you tend to game all the time, you tend to heavily use that keyboard, you know, 
it's an investment. You're not going to have to keep, you know, buying a new keyboard five or six months. You're going to be able to use that keyboard for, you know, a year, year or two, whatever the case may be, unless you really wear, wear it down. That's a case where, you know, you're getting what you spend. Okay. So I got this for $49.99. He did recommend this brand. I noticed that GameStop carries HyperX for a lot of items. He, I even mentioned to him, I was also inquiring about, you know, maybe a headset. And what he told me was this. He says, well, you know, I recommend HyperX because that's, you know, what me and all my coworkers, we, we use for our gaming needs. Because, I mean, obviously, I get it's a brand that's carried by the store, for one. And two, you know, it's obviously something that they carry in stock. And what better way for employees to be able to speak about a product, about something that they use every single day? I mean, obviously, they, you know, if they use a HyperX uh, headset with keyboard, or maybe, I don't even know if the HyperX makes a mouse, but if they do... They probably make a gaming mouse and those GameStop employees, they can speak to it because that's what they use all the time. And who knows, I don't know this for sure, but maybe they get a little discount on, on this particular brand or when they push it, they get incentives. I don't know. That could be a thing. I worked retail once upon a time, but I never worked retail electronics, so I can't speak to that. So this one is, it's a bit interchangeable too. If you notice here, so it's PC, PS4, and Xbox One. So it's valid for those formats. Uh, is it is it usable with PS5 or with the uh, with the latest Xbox? I can't say for sure. So this is a USB keyboard, and it's interchangeable for all those formats. So so that should be pretty good. That's another reason why I went with the blue uh, the blue Snowball because it's usable on Skype. It's usable usable for uh, just about any and all formats. Any and all platforms. I mean, I plugged and play. My computer was already detecting that this was a snowball. Same thing with uh, a lot of times I'm using uh, OBS when I'm recording videos. That's how I'm able to do the split screen because I don't have any other programs to use. And I know absolutely jack about video editing. So I'm being honest here, guys. So I decided, hey, I'll do this. The blue snowball. This was forty nine ninety nine. And plus, I had a five, uh, I have a since I'm a membership with uh, GameStop, I get five dollars off a uh, coupon once a month, so I used it on this, and then I paid 49 for this. So, we're gonna open this right on up, and we're gonna see uh, if I did well. So, we're gonna turn this over again. This is Hyper X, is the brand. Of course, on the back, it shows that it's got your basic rainbow uh, multicolor RGB on here. It does tote a few uh, a few uh, little extras on here. It shows gaming grade performance with RGB, which stands for red, green, blue. And I believe this also has, let's see here. Signature light bar and RGB lighting effects. Spill resistance. So if you spill your beverage, whether it's water, Gatorade, or for you uh, White Claw drinkers out there, maybe that. I don't know. Um, nothing against White Claw drinkers. I just never cared for White Claw. Sorry. Um, you know, or your basic energy drinks, whatever you have. Spill resistant, dedicated media controls, which means uh, your brightness your RGB, your volume, so it has all your basic controls right there. And there's also keyboard lock mode. Tested up to, let's see, oh, the spill resistant is tested up to 120 milliliters. There we go. And of course, you get everything spelled out in all the various languages. So let's open this right on up. Again, it's a HyperX Alloy Keyboard RGB, just like it says right on the box. If you guys, uh, let's turn this right around so you can see everything. Still in the plastic. Let's pull this bad boy right out. Got a nice little cardboard flap, which allows you to just pull the cord out. It's got a nice kind of braided cord on here. Nice, good texture. And that's good for me because, uh, well, I have two cats. 
olive and monty they love to chew on everything so this will be nice good and resistant of course you get a nice little book here nice little flap little cardboard with uh just a little branding card got issues with hyper hyper x product contact experience team for quick response and support and gives you a little link right there guys so that's kind of cool I'll set that off to the side of course you get your basic book with instructions that opens up i mean let's be honest it's a usb keyboard uh, if you have had one you probably know how to manage this one so we got the still in the plastic we got a bunch of little legal documents right here and we're just going to pick this up and toss it to the side so let's spin that wheel. Getting the tw plastic twist tie off of here, guys. So let me ask you guys, while I'm prepping this and opening this up, what experiences have you had? Has anyone watching this video ever used HyperX? Or if not, what is your go-to keyboard brand out there? I know some people swear by Cor Corsair. I just simply said, you know what, I need a new keyboard. I was there, I just said, you know what, let's try this out. Let's just see how well this is. Plus, if I want to step up my game when it comes to gaming, no pun intended. You know, why not just see what the guys at GameStop have to say. It'll be a review on just how reliable they are, and also a review on the item itself. For purposes of this video, we are just going to plug this into a standard USB. There we go. So it gets a nice little, kind of a breathing transitional uh, response right here. Usually the holding the FN will change the colors, but we have some color keys right here. So this will show that It'll do a nice little transition with the rainbow. Got a nice little breathing function right here. Nice little effect. You guys can see that pretty clear. may have to play around with this to see how I can get this to because it me I like the color green a lot green or blue preferably I mean it's nice that it has this little transition if I have you know I may have to stick with that there we go we have uh, solid red Curious to see how I can go ahead and change the color. We do have some other keys right here. We have stop, fast forward, uh, play or pause, and then, uh, well, that's rewind, and then fast forward if you want to skip ahead or skip back. We have volume control right here. And it is responding on the computer here. So that is very cool. There is a mute key, so if I just want to cut all the, all the volume off, and on that's great we have a light on and off looks like this is the lock key right here I'll have to verify that with the instructions okay brightness control like I said there's a brightness control on here in the far left Middle button is LED control button mode. C is the game button mode. I'll have to read further on that. Of course, we have your regular LEDs that will monitor game mode, number lock, and caps lock. The volume control buttons, which I just went over, and also the media control, your pause, your play, your skip back or skip forward. 
and there we are. Now I'm going to have to check the LED uh, controls right here. So I'm going to pause the video right now and I'll be right back guys. Okay, so if I hold FN, there's an FN button on most of these keyboards you'll have that for function. And if I hit my left or right arrow, I can choose my different colors right there. And of course we have green, blue, dark blue, purple, brighter purple, or fluorescent purple if you will. We have kind of a, a dim white, red, orange, yellow, then back to green again. So there we are. So as you notice, uh, comparing these two, brightness is almost the same. I actually think I like the consistency of this. And I like how all the keys are coming out nice and bright. And when I mean the keys, I'm referring to how well the icons will actually, the letters, the keys, how they actually light up here. And I definitely think I like the look of this a little bit better than the other keyboard already. So. Response seems to be pretty quick. Okay. Let's actually. Uh, yeah, it seems to be pretty quick on here, guys. So what do you guys think? Um, so far, well, I really can't say what do you guys think because you're not the ones using the keyboard. But here we are. I got this for $49.99. Now, on a lot of these cheap, cheaper ones, like I got this one on Amazon, the top one, or the one where, you, where I have my hand, this one right here. I got that one for about, I think, 30 or so dollars, and I didn't have the color control on here. It just didn't. So, um, so far, this feels much more solid. This is, it doesn't have aluminum backing, but this has a nice heft to it, nice weight to it, much lighter or much heavier than this. I mean, this feels, it feels a little bit reduced. I like that there's a little bit more width to this one here. This one feels a bit more solid. So, so far I'm already psyched about this. Now it does have the little stands. If you like your keyboard to stand up a little bit higher. So. And I can't wait to go ahead and test this out later tonight. Uh, I'm probably going to try... Uh, I know it's it's a game that's been around for a long time, but I like to play DC Universe Online, DCUO. Um, I want to try and get into some other games. Uh, one, of my, uh, one of my fellow YouTubers actually did a live stream er earlier today uh, doing a test stream off of his PS4. Um, Sleeping Collectibles. He's a big, uh, big YouTuber when it comes to uh, toy reviews, toy hunts. But now he's also branching out into gaming. If you don't follow him, please check him out. Sub him. I mean, he does some amazing reviews, some awesome giveaways, and some great toy hunts. So if you're a big collector, you want, definitely want to check him out. Um, like I said, he he did a live, uh, just a test of a live stream today, and. It was just an awesome stream. So as a casual gamer, he was just, he was like, you know what? I'm going to try this out. He jumped and tried it. It seemed like he had an awesome time. He had a great time chatting with uh, me and a bunch of others who were who were watching him and connecting with other gamers. Um, you know, it's something nice and fun to do, especially with everything going on in the world. You know, if you're going to, if you're going to be cooped up in the house, you know, why not, uh, you know, do something fun. Start a YouTube channel like this goofball here. So, um definitely worth a try and he's very approachable in the community itself or if you're just you just someone who likes toy reviews or gaming he's very friendly uh, a couple other youtubers i would like to uh recommend if you don't mind uh one thousandth ghost that's one zero zero th ghost uh he's a great toy toy collector and reviewer um there's i mean literally the list goes on and on marvelous collectibles the wolf pack uh, toy review, um, Mr. Stargell. Um, these are all great reviewers. Um, definitely, if you're looking to unboxing, collectings, toy hunts, these are some of the best guys you you could ask to to check up on, and they're amazing. Also, um, a gentleman by the name of John Joker. He does some amazing reviews, some awesome streams. 
he's a he's a character all all onto himself, but he's very really, really great and very down to earth. All these guys are. You don't want someone who's corporate funded who's like, oh, check this out. No, you want people who are relatable. They're like your cousin, your brother, your you know, little Jimmy from down the street. Don't, these are the guys who you talk to on a regular, everyday basis, and they're definitely worth checking out. So, here's the. Re there I am. I mean, the HyperX. It feels like a nice, solid. I mean, one thing you want you want to have a solid keyboard. And I mean, just just the feel of it right now. I mean, without even really using this. And I'm, what I'm going to do is I'm going to try and actually uh, do a little stream, a little screen capture of me uh, playing a game in just a little bit so you guys can see some of the response and then we'll we'll be back afterwards okay okay so here we are we're going to test out this keyboard first i'm just going to hit the start key okay everything seems to be checking out tabbing over uh let's hit netflix seems to be loading pretty well just waiting on my computer's response, or should I say my internet's response right here. Spinning wheel, spinning wheel. And there we go. This is actually the app through Windows and not uh, through the browser. Okay, so we have Ghostbusters the video game. I know, big surprise there. And we have DC Universe Online. So, I also got Star Trek here. So, we're going to try... DC Universe. It's a tried and true game I've played for many, many years. It's been out for like uh, maybe around 10 years and I've been playing it for probably about 7 or 8 of those years. So I got a few characters on here. I always play the PC version so I'm just going to go ahead and hit play. Wait for it to load here. Now usually in this game the main keys that you're going to be hitting a lot are the z and x that's going to be your range and melee um going to be using uh the one two three four and five keys uh we're going to be using just a few of the base keys e and f gets used a lot the number lock key those are the main ones here not very complicated not when you compare it to other games like fortnite and I mean, the list goes on and on. By the way, I've never played Fortnite before. I'm just terrible. Yes, I have quite a few characters here. Flash Frost, that's a recent one I dis, uh, decided to throw out. He's got speed and ice powers. Quantum Man, he's just something I threw together. Jolts, this is my, this is my, uh, my very first character I created. Just a few different characters here, so we're just going to jump right on into... Well, we'll go to Hot Rod. He's a uh, fire meta. Uh, it's a fire superhero uh, with hand blast powers and super speed. I know he's done up to look like the Flash. Uh, DC Universe, in case you're not familiar, is an uh, RPG, an online RPG, multiplayer RPG, who uh, you can be the villain or you can be the good, the good guy. And there's a whole sort, an assortment of powers that you can choose from, including movements. You can make a guy that looks like He-Man, or rather uh, Superman, or you can make a guy that looks like Lex Luthor. Or make your own little versions. I've even seen people make, uh, do versions of uh, Marvel characters in here. Believe it or not. I've seen a lot of Deadpools, some Spideys. So, here we go. A lot of times I'm going to use the directional key, so here we go. You seem to be uh, responding pretty quick. There you go. A little bit better than the previous keyboard. Um, again, another thing was my old keyboard used to move around a lot on my uh, desk here. The nice, solid uh, build of this keyboard, it doesn't feel like it's move moving anywhere. If, it, if the keyboard itself moves, it's going to be shaking the desk around, which is pretty good. Okay, so I need to go to Little Bohemia, so I'm kicking in the afterburners here. We're going to go super fast. Because there's... Reg you get your regular movement here. See? 
and then we hit F for super speed. And then if I hit the number key, I go a little bit faster. So I need to go to Little Bohemia, which is pretty much across the water. Not across this water, but across the other water as well. Right now, this character is in Metropolis. Yeah, I kind of like these graphics. Um, about a year, maybe just under a year ago, they switched to a more advanced uh, engine for gaming. And now... Everything looks a little bit more, a little bit better resolution, more crisper. Okay. Now for my Jesus movement. Running right across, you can race right across the water here. Sorry this is taking so long guys. Almost there. But the movement on here is pretty quick. Gotta love the superhero landing. So, so far, this is a uh, movement's responding pretty well. I want to test it in combat, so that's what we're building up to. I have to get a new mission from one of the powers that be in here. Patients are rioting all over the meta wing at Metropolis General Hospital. Lex Corps is trying to keep okay. Metro PD there we go. I'm going to accept it. I've done this mission a thousand times with different characters, so I'm very familiar with it. That's just a briefing that Superman gives on this particular mission because he's my mentor on this character. Like I said, I've done this mission about a thousand times. I just want to check out the, uh, how well this keyboard responds to the combat situation, so we're going there right now. Great thing about being a speedster, you can climb, you can run up buildings. And here we are. So let's check it out. How's oh yeah, the keys are m much better as far as reaction. Much, much better, guys. So so far, the HyperX is for a budget keyboard. If you're looking for something less than a hundred, this is definitely going to be the way to go. At least from what I can see. Okay. I gotta get the citizens to safety and that's all that that is but I want to do some more combat here definitely seems to be reacting a lot better let's take out some more bad guys oh yeah much better guys much much better Much better. Okay, so there we were. Uh, just a quick little uh, tryout on one of one of the multi uh, multiplayer online games that I play. Um, much more solid build. Like I said, the keyboard itself. I mean, it's got heft to it. I mean, this is one of those keyboards. I mean, you could really knock somebody out with this keyboard with one hit. Whereas this one, this is very light. I mean, if you're in a pinch, you can use this as a, as a keyboard for a computer. Just um, 
it's okay for typing. It's got that mechanical effect. Um, if you notice, the keys are very raised here. That's to give it more of a that luminary look. But this, it is a mechanical keyboard. But the construction, the feel of it, feels good. I mean, this feels like a much, much better keyboard. As I said, this is HyperX. Um, it just doesn't show a model number on here. It just shows me HyperX Alloy or Alloy Core. Ally Core RGB. I'm trying to see if there's a specific model number on here, guys. Um, as far as the SKU and the model numbers on there, I'm going to read what I see here. We have H is in Howard, X is in X ray, dash K is in Kilo, B is in Bravo, 5, M is in Mike, E is in Echo, 2 dash US, Uniform Sierra. Uh, so there we are. It also shows a set of serial numbers at the bottom here. Um, there's also another ID number that may be the model number itself, 6606487D. Now I'm actually going to pull up a link to this. I'm sorry, guys. I'm actually going to pull up a link to this and include it in the description below in case you're interested in a keyboard and you want to give this a try. Okay? So there we are. I know it's kind of a lengthy video there, and I did a little bit of ranting, so I do apologize for that, guys. Um, it's just, you know, a lot of times you can't go to a store. You can't try something out. You kind of get frustrated at times trying to find what's going to work best for you and for your conditions and your situation. So there we are. And this is truly a budget keyboard. I mean, $50 for a good solid keyboard that's not going to easily break. It's not something that can easily slide off the desk. It's very solid build, solid construction, solid response. I couldn't ask for anything better, at least not right now at the moment. Um, I know a lot of people, you know, they might think budget keyboard $100 or more. If you're professionally streaming, if you're that person who's on Twitch all the time, or maybe you're doing a Patreon or some kind of a <clears throat> community stream, like on YouTube for your gaming, Obviously, in a situation like that, you want you want something of a higher quality. If you're a casual gamer, maybe you do an occasional stream, or maybe, maybe you don't stream at all, this is definitely going to be a great keyboard for you. For $49.99, I can't say enough. No, this video is not sponsored in any shape or form. This is just my honest opinion. I bought this with my own dollars, you know, trying to trying to just upgrade my situation and that's what it that's what it really boils down to. So I hope some of the insight, some of my opinions help you in your decision making um, on a scale of one to ten uh, one being did I actually pay crap did I actually pay money for this crap and ten being wow I love this keyboard um, I gotta say um, so far just on my limited experience um, just opening it out of the box and testing it on the game just as you guys saw I gotta say this is definitely a nine it's definitely a nine um, why is it not a ten well I can't I can't proclaim it a 10 when I've only spent maybe not even five minutes playing a game. Um, I'm definitely going to put it through a spaces. I'm going to try it out on a couple different games. Um, my go-to, my uh, Ghostbusters, uh, the video game remastered, I'm going to try that. And who knows, I might even download a new game tonight and try it out. I do a lot of PC gaming. I do... Uh, Occasionally, once in a while, I'll do Xbox. Like, I, I love uh, Fallen Order, Jedi F Fallen Order on Xbox. Uh, Rogue Squadron w is very fun. Um, DBZ, um, you know, Dragon Ball Z, uh, Xenoverse, love that. Um, of course, Mortal Kombat's always a classic. Um, I don't do a whole lot of gaming. I'm going to try and change that a little bit, but I'm also been trying to stay active. So, we'll see what happens. So here we are. That's the video, guys. Tell me what you think. Um, between the two, which one would you have chosen? I've had this one. And like I said, the, the keys break off very easy. This one feels nice and solid. I don't anticipate the keys. I really don't see how the keys are going to go flying off. It just looks like a nice, solid build. And, I mean, you hold the, the FN key and you hit the arrows. And there we go. We get different colors. You can scroll back and forth. I mean, we can choose different color schemes. 
We got the breathing scheme right now. There we go. I know a lot of people like this one. But me personally, I like that I can go. There we go. I can go all green. And I got my green screen. My green. My got my LEDs up there being nice and green. And then I have this right here. I have my keyboard. So there we are. So there we are. Just a quick. Uh, well, not really a quick video. I'm sorry. This one's a bit long. But there we are review of this and i'm going to let you i'll probably do an update video in the future um uh, probably not for another month or so so i can give it a nice good run through the paces to let you guys know is it a hit or miss did i jump the gun by saying it's a nine so i'll give you an update video at a later date so here we are i hope you guys like this video if you did give me a thumbs up if you didn't give me a thumbs down if you got some criticisms pluses or minuses maybe something i could do to make this uh, channel or videos like this better in the future let me know in the comments section below or better yet hit me up in my email at dave's dimension 78 at gmail.com so until next time this is dave from dave's dimension saying keep on busting and i'll catch you on the flip side